We are turning now to a teenager on a mission to end book deserts, regions where books and other reading material are hard to obtain, often due to disparities in the quality and quantity of crucial community resources. So she started the Literary, <laughs> Literary, right? I said it right. Society is a nonprofit organization working to get free books in the hands of disadvantaged children. And with us now is the 17-year-old behind it all, Rania Zuri. Thanks for being with us, Rania. We uh, appreciate you being here. We're excited you're here with us. And you heard me kind of make sure I said the name of your organization correct, <laughs> Literary. Yes. Tell us about it and how you came up with the name. So I have always been a bibliophile my whole life. <laughs> I, as a child, I was rarely seen without a book in hand. Oh, okay. So in middle mm -hmm. school, I had a classics book club. But in ninth grade, I learned about the book deserts, the vast book deserts that exist in our own country while I was working on a project to set up a small library for young migrant girls. Mm. And so basically, last year, I combined my book club with my passion for ending the book desert into the Literary Society. <laughs> and so we are a nonprofit organization that has the mission of promoting the love of reading among disadvantaged children ages three to five. You just finished a big project, the, uh, the West Virginia Head Start Book Tour. Is that right? Tell me yes, about that project. Yes, the West Virginia Head Start Road Tour. And so for those of you who are unfamiliar, Head Start is the federal preschool program for children that come from families that live at or below the poverty line. And so in this project, I donated a brand new book to every single child in Head Start in the entire state of West Virginia. Oh. And Rania, you're so driven and committed and inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want to do next? What's next on your to-do list? So we have a lot coming up. So next week, I am taking my Head Start Road Tour outside of West Virginia, and I will be traveling throughout Appalachia through mm. Head Start centers in South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Alabama, Kentucky, wow. and Mississippi. Wow. And I'll be donating brand new copies of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, which I hope will be a big hit. I love hit. that book. <laughs> Me too. It was one of my favorites as a child. And I am also working on a national commemorative day through a U.S. Senate resolution, which I call One Book at a Time, to bring awareness to book deserts and also how we can collectively end them. I think as individuals, we can easily get overwhelmed when we hear the term book desert but we can truly all make a difference just by donating one book to a child in need. You're 17, right? Wow. I'm just checking. All right, just <laughs> yes. checking. You're incredibly impressive. And our friends at Scholastic, well, they heard about what you're doing. They, too, were impressed by all the work you did. So they wanted to get in on the action. They are donating $5,000 worth of a oh children's books to help you reach your next goal. So tell us what that'll mean for you and your organization and the children you serve. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. I just, I can't wait to see the children, like the looks on the children's faces when I give them the books. Thank you so much. We want updates on how things are going, all right? Well, thank you so much for having me. And this is absolutely incredible. You're going to have to carry all those on the plane. Right <laughs> He's just teasing. He's just teasing. I will. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.